uh, elements that again sort of bespeak uh, industrial uh, industrial uh, structure. And um, the piece in Basel was called a station for detaining and blinding radioactive horses. And uh, it was a work that uh, used maybe a thousand square feet of land and it um, consisted of a major sort of central station, a, f a large framed structure that was delivered to from the outside via sort of pulled back and aimed dischargeable material. In other words, in this case, the uh, raw material for the piece was excavated on the site. <coughs> and when it was discovered in the site, it was then uh, isolated and a pit was built around it. It was positioned onto uh, devices, uh, or um, in this case, um, sleds, carts that, that were pulled back by uh, large bands and literally aimed. They were sort of stored power. They could be projected through this sort of mid-station. And uh, so it was kind of uh, circumventing this notion of uh, merely uh, ar arbitrarily locating material and subjecting this material to, to one's devices of, uh, of uh, intellectual or formal uh, pursuit, this material was uh, almost detected in the earth. And uh, then it was held back from entry. Uh, so you're putting a lot of weight on the, um, the sort of, uh, on the design of the thing. I mean, what if somebody saw it as a kind of mine uh, processing plant? Well, I mean, would, would that be just a kind of uh, dim view of the work? Well, it, it's, it's, no, I think it's accurate. Um, I mean, I'm not, I don't feel particularly imbued with any unusual uh, uh, discoveries regarding the morphology of mental processes. I, 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 I mean, I can't think of any particular breakthroughs that I've made in, in the way thoughts look in terms of structural uh, models. However, I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I'm motivated to consider uh, that pursuit. Uh, and this is just another one of the attempts to, uh, on one hand, just situate it as a, uh, a, an objective. Here is a processing plant, which is a mental processing plant. Uh, it is a model of a, a, uh, uh, the system that art, I've always thought, in the temporal counterpart goes through. In other words, this is what the ma this is what what the material has passed through to concretation in traditional sculpture. This well, thing what I asked was, uh, I mean, suppose somebody had no prior sort of uh, prior reason to think uh, anything about mines and started seeing my uh, mines, not mine, mines, mines, but like you know, mm -hmm. a factory. Mm -hmm. uh, in other words, they weren't sort of coming to this thing as a metaphorical mm -hmm. structure, mm -hmm. as a, as a, um, a kind of uh, visible model of something that is invisible, mm -hmm. uh, then, well, I mean, there might not be any difference. You know, there might not be any fundamental difference. It sort of uh, goes into the system anyway, hopefully. Well, it's, it's just that reading it as, as a factory, uh, 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 as a commercial factory may not be that far off. In other words, reading a commercial factory as a, as a mental, <coughs> uh, uh, <coughs> as a mental metaphor might be correct. In other words, maybe what's out there is hallucinated uh, uh, thought structures already. Maybe Con Ed is really uh, has a lot more to do with. Um, a mental facsimile than, than one uh, cares to believe. Uh. Nevertheless, <laughs> uh, what, what this, this sort of station, uh, this corral of sort of aim through horsepower is, is a very sort of specially considered chamber in which 
particles that are either uh, anthropomorphic or are purely particle physics want to kind of activate. In other, in other words, this is fusing. This is not particularly caring about architecture. There's no doors and windows and no, no openings that would be purely um, uh, trafficked by uh, people. And, and yet the troughs and the cutters and the bins and the collectors and the dividers are not purely, and the pipes are not really those that you would connect with gas and uh, uh, liquid, particularly. Uh, it's, it's sort of uh, an entrance station for what wants to be maybe what a thought might be made out of if we want to pretend what, yeah. what those could yeah. uh, So it's building, a, it's building an apparatus that uh, works the way a mind <laughs> works, hopefully. Well, it, it's. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, works works the way a mind could work under certain conditions. Yeah, uh, uh, conditions of um, uh, of of extreme uh, extreme conditions, uh, extre a high velocity. For for instance, the piece at Ace uh, last month was called. Um, this is in Los Angeles, right? Yeah, a Ace uh, Gallery in Los Angeles. It was called the final uh, the final stroke. Uh, project for a glass factory, and and this really specifically dealt with the uh, uh, attempt to indicate overload. Uh, overload being a point in which uh, anything, uh, re you know, reaches uh, a state <coughs> in which something else happens to it. It either disintegrates, it either fractures, it either whatever the phenomenon may. Would may you think it would be fair to say that? Uh the, the general kind of uh, uh, hope with these with these works is to give some kind of visible shape to things that are experienced uh, uh, by people in certain mental states. In other words, oh, like you've, got some, you've got mental hospitals. That, <laughs> mental hospitals, maybe uh, that's a place where people have extraordinary mental states. But uh, uh, no, the idea is that. Uh, Here's something that you can you can you can live through, maybe mm -hmm. a kind of a kind of a typical kind of um, say uh, um, distress, for example, mm -hmm. or a typical kind of uh, complex, or a typical kind of pattern of response. Mm -hmm. uh, and how to um, uh, make a work of art that somehow uh, makes such a thing. Visible, that gives mm -hmm. it to somebody else. I mean, mm -hmm. is that something well, that occurs to you that you might be trying to do? Yeah, I, I, I think in clarifying this, one would say first of all, the urge to to do this, the urge to sort of question the the uh, a good part of the historical process of of art making, the kind of use of the so-called creative process as a a individual circulatory system that is trafficked through in pursuit of a frozen object, a sort of ex estranged or what, what have you, an exteriorated object, a piece of sculpture sitting outside the artist. Now, this has been a sort of frustrative, a frustration for some time now. I think body art has, in, 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 in some ways, felt uh, an urge to disrupt this notion simply because it didn't want to believe that that object had to be so estranged Pardon from me. the initiator. What is so frustrating about making a piece of sculpture? Well, because it, it's, it's uh, uh, you see, art is supposed to be this unusual function. It's supposed to be sort, sort, sort of the breeding of all disciplines. And when you, you pit it against all these other disciplines, you want it to function in a very special way. Well, it doesn't seem to function that way if it's estranged from the point of origin. Now, we know that the point of origin is not particularly in the clay when we make a simple monolithic piece of sculpture as we have in the past. And we know that it doesn't seem to really be believed when you're sort of may, may doing traditional as assemblage. Mm -hmm. and, and I've always questioned the act of painting severely because it did have this sort of detached, it's almost n blind trust in the fact that, that you can disengage uh, to a point where you release it onto that surface, and mm -hmm. so, <coughs> so. What is it that people can do that uh, 
doesn't get sort of estranged. Well, is there any kind of typical or paradigm sort of act? It's that, all uh, sort of that, representational, uh, but 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 yes, yes, I I I think there is a way to. Uh, I mean, what does the ideal kind of uh, expressive gesture look like if it isn't making a work of art? It's. Um, <clears throat> I I I think the. I think that what could happen, or perhaps what should happen for a brief period of time, is that art could be used as a uh, <clears throat> a kind of inquiry into the points in which all of this other work historically has has been sent from and the sort of abilities that art has as a sort of diagnostic as a as a tool mm -hmm. to sort of uh, uh, concretize these things uh, be engaged and and uh, uh, ultimately, what what could happen if we carry this through a very simple sort of sort of lineage is uh, <coughs> is um, uh, one can begin to, uh, for instance, in, in in describing a few of these pieces, in particular this this one that I'm wor working on now, okay. called the Image Maker. It's a it's a factory again. This is the one now in Switzerland. No, this obviously. is one I'm doing here in the city. Oh at a park. And this is a, a, a system of, of three or four structures. There's something that's like a generator, something that wants to generate. It sort of looks as if it can agitate. It can create electricity. It can sort of, sort of um, produce power. And, this, and then there's another sort of receiving station, something that sort of looks like it wants to receive this power. Then there's a sort of um, relay system. And then there's <coughs> finally. Uh, uh, well, it's essentially a a, uh, a generator, a transformer, and a receiving uh, type type of structure. Uh, well, well, you know, the generator is basically this sort of s a cerebral zone in which we so kind you're of thinking of these uh, these structures as as uh, somehow analogous to organisms. Yeah, but way. yeah, are you? Well, here, here, here's the only interesting thing I, I, I see occurring in, in all this, is that if, if one wants to exteriorate models of their, uh, their thought processes, their functions of, of behave, behavior, and situate them in terms of very acute structural counterparts. In other words, you aren't just building a tower to look like a receiving tower. This tower wants to look as if it's been haunted to look that way. In other words, it wants to take clues in, in that have been building up historically for years in terms of the way emotions look. It's a meta-communication. This receiving tower wants to look as if it's, it, it's been structured by, in this case, thousands of distress calls. It wants, the physical structure wants to look as if it is basically the sum total of, of thousands of sinking ships. A you real warning station. That way. I, I mean, think there. I think we know 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 enough about signs and symbols to be able to to exteriorate these things from the mind. 